Now here we have a simple, straightforward quote. What's the difference between a cult and a religion? The answer, about a hundred years. We have groups like the Seventh-day Adventists, the Jehovah's Witnesses, we also have Mormonism and Fundamentalist Mormonism and a variety of other groups which aren't all that old. They were perceived in their youth as being cults. Once they gain some popularity, longevity, they seem to gain legitimacy. They start out as fringe beliefs, slightly bizarre, slightly different, perhaps. And then they become accepted. Because they catch on. Because they stand the test of time. You know, it's possible that given time, practically any so-called cult would seem to be legitimate. Consider the Moonies. Consider them. Give them, say, 50 years. 50 more years, I mean. They will be seen as a legitimate belief. Give Falun Gong 50 more years. People might accept it then. Or Scientology, perhaps. If David Miscavige is taken out of Scientology and they don't gain much attention by keeping their head down, they'll probably be seen as being a legitimate religion. Is that the only chemical mixture to make a legitimate religion? If you last long enough and you're not too radical, people have to accept you as being a good religion or at least a good faith, no longer merely a cult. If that's all you need to gain legitimacy, then I don't think there's much value in the term religion. If all you need is time to be recognised within the eyes of modern society as being a legitimate religion, is simply time, then the label of religion is, well, practically without value. 